Okay, today I'll be showing you how to rebuild the master cylinder in your 68 Mustang. It's probably the same exact thing through 65 through 73. So first thing you want to get it out of the car, and there's two 9 16 bolts, and then you'll have the push rod right here. You don't have to remove this from the car, but you will have to remove it from this. And so this has like a little clip there as you can see, and you just pull that out when you pull this out of the car. And you want to use uh, brake line wrenches so that you don't round off the bolts. So I have already tested this several times. I've tried putting PB Blaster in there and seeing if it'll flush it through both lines. And it will, it's just it won't return out, so this needs to be honed. And so you can see there's this little metal clip right there. And so you remove that, so I'll do that right now. So for this, you're going to want a hammer and a flathead screwdriver. A little bit beefy of a flathead. And then you're just going to tap that out. And I've already heated this and sprayed it, so it should come out. So once you get it halfway out, then you should be able to... Push it in even more and just pull it out. Nice pliers. Gotta tap it again. Okay, now I got it good because it's sideways and then you just rip it out. And if this was still good, that would have shot out. So you got to be careful of that. So then you get your push rod. So you get your push rod, you stick it in and you pull at an angle and pull out. And there it goes. And you can see there's all the PV blaster and brake cleaner I've sprayed in there. So this is the part that will go bad. This is the part that you change. These seals go bad or the spring gets weak. And mine just needed to be honed out, but this is the original thing, so it'll need to be changed anyway. So right now I'm just cleaning out that hole, getting it ready to hone it. And this is actually a little rough good on the top side but there's definitely ridges so you can see down in there well actually hold on so now you can see the corrosion there and see how smooth that top is so those little rings of corrosion that's what stops the spring from returning which won't it will stop you from getting power to this line or actually one of these two lines okay so i just got off the phone with napa and they said they couldn't get it for a week and so i just went with a whole new uh master cylinder from them and so <laughs> Which is a little sad because I wanted to keep the original one, but maybe later I could. So we're just going to pretend like this is the replacement spring and seal. And so the replacement one would have a different type of clip. So we're just going to put this in there.
So, you gotta make sure this thing doesn't break, which mine did, but it's probably just because it's old. So twist and then push it in around the edge. Then it'll slide in. And then you put your clip back in. So here's the clip. And you can usually do it by your fingers. You get one edge in first and then push. I can't do it with one hand, but Pliers help. So once that's seated, as you can see, that ring is in the notch. This normally would be pushing out, but since my seals I think are bad and the rust on the cylinder, it's not gonna do that. So then, hopefully you didn't have to take this out, but if you did, it goes over a circle and then the brake light indicator clips over it. So this just clicks into there. And you'll know when you got it because it clicks. And so you go stick this back into the car with this on it, or if you didn't have this, then you just leave it, stick the two bolts in, and then you're gonna do the normal routine for bleeding it and reconnecting all the lines. So I actually decided to order a new one because it was almost the same price as the rebuild kit. It was only 25 bucks more. So now I'm up at the car and so you'll have those two 9 bolts that go right there. Those just go in those holes. And the rest of that is pretty easy. So then from there, you gotta reconnect your brake lines. Obviously I can't do that because mine snapped off on both sides. So once it's in the car, you gotta go bleed it. And there's videos on YouTube about that too. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have all the supplies and I need to replace the brake lines anyway, but that's the video.